Hey everyone, um, it's me. <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing a review of the um, new Cinderella movie on Amazon Prime starring Camila Cabello. And I'm going to start this out by saying I'm going to try not to do any spoilers, but there might be some. So if you haven't seen it yet and you're planning on watching it, you don't want anything to be spoiled. Just hold off on watching this. Okay, and the second thing is, um, I love the cast, I love the crew, I love the director. Um, it's just that there are a few things personally that I think could have been executed better. And yeah, so let's get right into it. <laughs> so going into this, um, gosh, I don't even know what to say. You know, it's it's an interesting take because Camila Cabello, she plays Cinderella or Ella and she has this dream of making dresses but she's like told that women can't be business people and <laughs> it's just, it's a very feminist movie, which which we all know going into this, I think, um, which, which is great. I love that. And the thing is, is that she keeps singing this one song, I think it's called A Million to One or something, like, that's literally, I feel like, I feel like that might be the only original song in the movie, I might be wrong, I might be wrong, and I feel like I heard that song at least three times, and I was, like, got to the point where I'm, like, if I hear that song one more time, I was gonna shut it off, I'm sorry, <laughs> I got so annoyed with it, but then the rest of the movie was, like, random freaking covers, like, they sang Am I Wrong? They, there was like one part where the prince was doing Seven Nation Army and I was having like band flashbacks which is uncomfortable um oh yeah then they sang Let's Get Loud at the end you know it was, it was just like a bunch of random covers just thrown into a movie and I feel like that's probably where most of the budget went to I don't know I feel like I was just watching a movie just full of covers um, what I did like, though, was Adina Menzel. I love her. I love her voice. Um, and her character as the evil stepmother, you know, they gave her, like, a reason to be mean, you know? She wasn't being mean just to be mean. Um, she was actually trying to help Ella by, you know, avoiding the mistakes that she made, which is kind of cool. Um, but... Uh, this is such a stereotype, but I have this, <laughs> I don't know if anyone else has this, but if like James Corden makes a random cameo in a movie, it's not the greatest movie. Um, I feel like there are a lot of scenes where they're like trying to be funny and like trying to be cool with modern stuff. Um, it just, it wasn't my kind of humor, you know? I mean, there are a couple, I think I made a lot like once, I don't even remember what I laughed at, but um, it's not really that funny. I mean, if you're like seven or something, you might think it's funny, but, I mean, I don't know, you might think it's funny as an adult or whatever, but you know what, go you. Um, what else? I don't really know. I, I don't think the acting was terrible. I think Camila did a really great job considering, like, this is like her first big acting project, so power to her. Go Camila. Um, but I felt like the storyline, like I appreciate the storyline, I appreciate the changes that were made to it to make it more modern. But at the same time, like they're using like modern slang, I guess, modern, um, modern themes and everything. But then like the actual like I feel like the setting and the environment wasn't really as modern like I understand it's classic fairy tale and everything but I don't know that kind of bothered me that they're using like modern slang and they had like this map and they're acting like maps were like this brand new thing and so that, that kind of threw me off too um what else I'm trying to think I don't know I mean overall I think Camila made an amazing Cinderella, very gorgeous. Um, Indira Menzel served with her vocals. <sighs> and I think it's a really empowering message, especially to like young girls maybe 
but I just think the movie fell short. It wasn't really captivating. It wasn't really super interesting. It wasn't funny to me, but I don't think, I don't think I'd go out of my way to watch it. Um, I think maybe it'd be okay if it were shorter. I don't know. I felt like it went on really long. Um, but I think that's all. Um, overall, I think it's just an okay movie. I don't hate it, but I don't like it either. If that makes sense. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.